This is the original front brake lever and master cylinder from my 2006 R1. I was not able to get a rebuild kit from Brake Crafters, which I've been using their parts for a little while now, but this All Balls kit claims to be the one I need. This thing is frozen, as frozen as can be. So, I'm going to see if I can get it apart. This thing is going to go onto an RZ350 that currently has uh, FZR front end on it, front brakes, and I think a FZR front master cylinder. It's not going back on my R1. Looks pretty corded up in there. I've scraped all the crud out around the area in there where the piston is. I'm not sure how I'm going to get that thing out of there. I may have to uh, consult YouTube and see if I can find some answers on this. The kit did not include a new piston, so I'm going to have to be very careful with this thing in here. I don't want to damage it. I'm not finding much help on YouTube on how to get that uh, piston out of there. I think there's another part. There's a few parts inside here. I take this bleed nipple off and uh, figure out some way to soak this thing. Some pretty dirty water. It's a little muddy. It's almost surprising that this baggie can withstand that temperature, but it does. And the only thing I see that that 15 minute run did was discolor the what was bright aluminum right here. And the paint finish on this thing is now got that kind of rainbow effect. <laughs> so it kind of destroyed the black paint, unfortunately. I was hoping somehow it would free up this piston, but it didn't. My next little experiment to try to get that piston out. I'm going to use a little air pressure. This could get a little messy. Nothing's happening. It didn't budge. I think I'll just have to let it soak for a while. The piston is over here so it can't fly out too far if it decides to come out. which it's not. This thing has been sitting for about a day and a half full of this penetrating oil. Let me see if I can blow this piston out now. I hope so. I have low expectations. Here we go. The piston is actually down here. Come on. Work. Unfortunately, I can't see if it's moving. It's not blowing out, that's for sure. Looks like nothing. No movement. I'll let 
this sit for another day. It's set like this for another day. Can I get lucky this time? I think not. Can I get it to move the other direction with the brake lever? Oh, I did. All right, that's progress. Look at that. It doesn't exactly want to just blow out of there. I took the rubber out of there. You can see this thing is moving quite freely now. It just doesn't want to pop out of there. Cool. It kind of popped out on its own with that last lever action. Oops. Let me see if I can gently grab it. There we go. Ooh, nice. Look at that sludge. There's something else in there too. Oops. I've got this thing all apart now. Uh, unfortunately this all balls kit these two parts look identical it's possible this one has a slightly smaller ID there's six holes in this guy right here three of these holes are completely clogged up let's see if I can use a push pin to clear them out yeah maybe there's nothing wrong here this seal has a smaller ID it seems to correspond with the one that goes over here. This one has a slightly larger ID, which would go here. The shaft does have smaller OD and larger OD here. Um, I'm not sure what the heck happened with this thing. <laughs> Why it swelled up. But I think the parts are good. I am going to go with it. Put this one here. This one here and put it all back together. This guy's all reassembled with new seals. It's really too bad. I destroyed the finish on this thing. Now I have to figure out if I want to paint it or just put it on as is. Can he do this? Get in there. Is it in? Yep. Nice. Next. Is it going to work? Hope so. There we go. It's all done. Like I said, this has a crappy finish on it right now. But I think I'm going to put it on as is. I need to make sure it works. I hope it does.